From Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so glad you're here. Because here we help you improve your attitude, your finances, your relationships, and your career. This is episode number 197 of Boaz Power TV, and I call this one, You Wouldn't Know They Had It. There are a number of diseases that can cause great difficulties in people's lives. Unfortunately, some of them are incurable. One of my 25 plus years of observing and counseling people as a speaker and as a high performance coach, I've seen how two people with the same ailment have dramatically different results. I truly believe that the mind controls the body. Do you believe that? I sure do. The mind controls the body. When someone focuses on how bad his or her condition is, that power of those thoughts either makes the condition worse or keeps it from getting better. That's my belief. It has been proven that a positive, optimistic attitude is a valuable asset in improving any physical condition. That point was brought home to me on many occasions. In 1991 and 92, when I produced a network television show on Lifetime Television for people with diabetes. It was called Living with Diabetes and ran nationwide on Sunday mornings when Lifetime was running medical shows all day long on that day of the week. Now, I personally do not have diabetes. However, the host of our program did, and so do many other people. According to the American Diabetes Association, there are 18.2 million people in the United States, or 6.3% of the population, who have diabetes. And while an estimated 13 million have been diagnosed with diabetes, unfortunately, 5.2 million, or nearly one-third, are unaware that they have the disease. So each week on our television program back in the early 90s, we would feature the best doctors, nurses, and nutritionists in the country. They would discuss valuable ideas on how people can live normal lives with diabetes as long as they take good care of themselves. We also presented the stories of famous people from all walks of life who managed to live productive lives while having diabetes. We not only conducted studio interviews with these people, but we also took our camera crews outside the studio to expand the presentation of the story of people living with diabetes. These were amazing testaments to the fact that the mind, when focused on what can be done rather than what cannot, can lead to amazing accomplishments. We interviewed a pitcher, for example, with the Houston Astros. I watched him practice ahead of our interview and his game with the San Diego Padres at the San Diego Stadium. Now his fastball sped by at 95 miles an hour. His success as a major league baseball player didn't seem to be diminished by the fact that he had diabetes. He simply took care of himself. His coaches and trainers were aware of his condition and were enlisted to make sure he was doing the right things every day. We spent some time on a Saturday afternoon interviewing a wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs. He was in San Diego for a game with the Chargers. As I watched him catch a few passes in the game that Sunday, you couldn't tell there was anything different about him than any other player in the NFL. He did the right things every day to make sure his diabetes was under control. We sent a film crew to Albuquerque in the fall of 1991. Each year, that city hosts the largest hot air balloon regatta in the country. Hundreds of balloons from all over the world in all shapes and sizes gather there to participate in this spectacle in the sky. Our crew filmed an entire day featuring the preparations and the flight of one very unique crew. This was a crew composed entirely of people who had diabetes. They all were doing well because they took good care of themselves. I'll never forget the shot of their balloon lifting off the ground and taking its place in the sky amidst a hundred other balloons. On another occasion, we sent our host to England where he participated in a unique foot race across the countryside in the northern part of that country. 
This event was special because all of the runners had diabetes. It was amazing how many people finished the entire run, including our host, and did just fine because arrangements had been made along the way to take care of everyone's unique physical needs. How many times have all of us used a condition or a feeling as an excuse for not taking action? The many people we met in the two years that I produced that television show exemplified what amazing things can be done when we decide that we're going to overcome circumstances and take action. Now, you may not be a professional baseball or football player, the pilot of a hot air balloon or a marathon runner. However, I bet that there are opportunities in your own life to take some action that could be the equivalent to hitting a home run, catching a long pass, taking off in a hot air balloon or running a marathon. As the popular advertising slogan goes, just do it. So here's the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV. It's a mind over matter affirmation, and you may want to write this down. It could be helpful to you. I overcome most any challenge with my powerful mind. I overcome most any challenge with my powerful mind. Thank you for joining me. Would you please do me a favor? If you like these messages and many people around the world do, please forward this to five people you know. Suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and subscribe to the free weekly broadcast of Boaz Power TV. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. And I believe you're controlling your mind in a very productive way because I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.